So, hello, hello everyone, and welcome once again back to our Zwebi campaign. So, this is a battle which I probably could auto so, but since I did spend quite a lot of money to get all of these different type of mercenaries, then I uh, would want to try to actually use them in a battle. So, uh, that is why we will start off with that. So, I... Well... The quality of these units are a bit questionable. I still think we should have a uh, an easy time doing this. Uh, yeah, I don't want a, a fog. There we go. Much better. Mm. And I must say, after having played a lot of Falls of Samurai, um, these maps, like these battle maps, Terrible. So bland. So colorless. Oh well, that's my preference at least. Uh, that's my opinion at least, I should say. At least they have the, the correct colors. The, um, uh, the reddish, uh, tint there. <laughs> and they said another word that was completely inappropriate and sounded very similar. Make a guess about what word that was in the comment section down below. Nah, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. Anyway, let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Enemy reinforcements. Um, is that it? If that is indeed it, then I don't think I have that much to fear. Um, if I'm honest. Do they have cavalry? Uh, yes, they do. Oh, noble horse. I have to be careful with that. I'm actually going to shift this around. Well, there we go. Are they just gonna rush me? Yeah, apparently their uh, their patience is gone. Could you please fire? There we go. Finally. Yeah, that is not gonna go well. Let's see what I can do though. Actually, if you're just gonna chart my ranks, I'm gonna do this. Swoop around. And encounter another unit of Noble Horse. Oh well, let's try to go for the skirmishers. Thankfully, it's the enemy who has um, started the rounds. Well, not all of them, apparently. Our men flee the field of battle. Hmm, this has been broken through in a serious way here. Wow. Ready. Understood. 
I think this is the part where I put him on auto skirmish and just pray for a victory. <laughs> I didn't expect uh, the units to be that crap. Well, hopefully the skirmishers can do some work here. And these bear horsemen, they have a hard time dying. It apparently doesn't come easy for them. So I have that going for me. Shocking, I know. Let's see. Chosen swordsmen. Yeah, they do have some units that are tricky to deal with, to say the least. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Why are some of you stuck back here? You're stuck on nothing. Really? Well, I guess I overestimated my own army. As did the uh, the balance bar. Well, I still have some units remaining. Not that many, though. Thankfully, uh, my skirmishers can definitely skirmish. Still have a chance of winning here, but uh, it's a bit slim. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Did I only manage to give you a movement order? See, so my enemy here is uh, pretty much the remaining enemy cavalry. And that's pretty much about it, like in terms of most dangerous units. Of course, every unit is dangerous in its own right, but you should take into consideration that I can just run away from them. Thankfully, these guys are just sitting here and taking it. Oh, there we go. That's very nice. I caused these guys to favor immediately. Which is very nice indeed. And now we hunt skirmishers. Come on. You're very, very slow on the trigger there. Uh, I think that was it, actually. When it comes to cavalry units, because I did manage to have them around. Which is quite nice. And yeah, I think this battle is actually winnable. All things, uh, all things considered. These are spear throwers, aren't they? This is a shameful display. Bowman? Yes, the Bowman. Uh, 
uh, yeah, these Celtic warriors, they have quite a lot of battle experience. That should be noted. So yeah, there, there they go. Oh well. <laughs> Look at this. Look how tired they are. Do I have another second win? Yes, I do. How are you feeling? Actually feeling fresh, I think? Yes. So let's definitely give those guys a second wind. The battle is turning in our favor. Thank you. It's good to hear. There we go, and suddenly, we're in full gallop. And, uh, yeah, and the bows came back, so this is round two, where I'm gonna win. Definitely if you have your backs to me like that. And they shattered. Uh, so yes, this will be a victory, but um, not as easy as I initially thought it would be, that's for sure. But yeah, this will still be enough to um, take their settlement, I think. And if it isn't, I still have more money, um, which I can recruit skirmishers with. The only question that remains is, are there enough skirmishers, uh, not skirmishers, I keep saying skirmishers when I want to say mercenaries. But are there any more mercenaries available? It's like, like artillery and cavalry. I am notorious for messing that up and saying artillery when I mean cavalry and vice versa. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, nice shot. And here we gobble, gobble, gobble up of the uh, last remaining units. Like, large unit at least, that was still roaming the battlefield. Here you still have 35 remaining. And I just chosen swordsmen, and not Celtic warriors, so... Sure, gobble them up. And after that, I think we will end it. There we go. That should be good enough. Wood battle. And, oh, what is that? That is, win 25 siege attack battles during campaign play. So, hmm. So apparently that counts as a siege attack battle. So, yeah, a walled crown. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Look at these. These number of kills. 332. Uh, what did my skirmishers, uh, did my skirmishers get? Oh, Look at the cavalry. 263, 381, 126, 166. Yeah, they did the lion share the damage there. Like, in terms of um, branches of army. Well, I guess the cavalry did most, but the skirmishers... They, all of them, had quite a lot of kills. So yeah, Pyrrhic victory, that's for sure. But yeah, that is that a painful faction dealt with. Been a pain in my back. Not for long, but uh, they... I think they revolted against Parthia. And then immediately they said, Ah, nope, we're gonna attack the only remaining barbarian faction there is. Well, not the only one. There's still some Celts up here that uh, keep the legacy intact, and I'm not going to attack them yet. Because I don't have any reason to. Oh well. Back in other lands. We did capture Anthei. Anthei? Anthei. Anthei. Yeah. 
so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so horrible when it comes to pronouncing that. All of those names in uh, this game. Nah, I think I, I think I'm fine with uh, the amount of food I do have at the moment. Do I have any enemy agents I want to take care of? I'm sure I can find some. Mm. Well, one all the way down here. Oh, is this another veteran that is gonna pester me for five turns and when I actually get him over to my side, he's gonna die of old age immediately. Sounds familiar. Oh well, um, yeah, you can be garrisoning again, and these guys can move on. There we go. Minus 32, yeah, they are not happy. And why are they not happy? Let's see. School from buildings, cultural differences, that is a big one. Conquest, that's also a very big one. Provincial instability, yeah. All of that can be dealt with. We only have to stabilize this for quite some time first. Oh yeah, and then we have all the agents that I want to move move down here. And be useful. So yeah, we are not at war with Parthia. At least yet. So I don't really need any agents here. I only, only would like to have this army still standing. Um, not filled with mercenaries, I'm afraid, you, you have been given the boot, but an actual decent army that can protect this. Yeah, because I don't want Parthia just to discover, um, well, a soft side where you can just send in all of their armies and take everything. Of course, I do have a problem here with the same thing. I also have a problem here with, um, with public order, apparently, so let's upgrade that. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, let's start recruiting that. And I don't have any bowmen. That's unfortunate. Actually, are there anything I can flip here so I can start recruiting that? No. Nope. Not at all. Uh, by the way, I do really have what I need here, so I can actually try to demolish that. And even that, because, yeah, as I said, I do have that, and that is pretty much what I need. Come, sit, share my fire. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that should be decent enough. And then we'll have some uh, defensive units, so... Four units of wooden and spears. Sure. And then... Actually, if I want to get bowmen, I can, of course, try to get some Dacian bowmen. Of course, now I cannot get any more of them this uh, exact turn. But I shouldn't have any issue just sitting back and waiting for it. And if it's anything I have an abundance of, it's money. So I can definitely afford to sustain uh, a few mercenaries here and there. Okay, Armenia owns Salamis, or Salamis, which I believe is actually pronounced. Yeah, I just want to discover, quote-unquote, these uh, settlements. So, just so I can see them. But yeah, we are about to push into Asia Minor. And I definitely look forward to that. By the way... Of course my of course my navy could just try to take something that is not protected. Salamis, for example. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try to attack that next turn. Or maybe a road, something that is actually a bit closer to where I am at the moment. Yeah, I think that that's a better idea. So Rhodes is gonna be the target. And maybe later I'll take uh, Salamis. So, over here. Did I move that this turn? No, I didn't. 
Oh, just barely not in range. That's a shame. We want to upgrade this. Not really. Unless we want to go to over Syracuse and we need more noble noble swordsmen or uh, sword masters. Nah, I think we're good actually. Anyway, I believe that is it for this turn. Uh, apparently it isn't. But other than the few agents that need a bit of an upgrade, I think that should be it. Morale for all units, sure. And there we go. Now we can actually end it. <laughs> I keep shifting my agents over. I beg you, take you want me to join the war against Parthia? No, I don't want to give them an excuse for attacking me. And I prefer to... Hermes would surely oh, bless sure. But I prefer to... Um, start a war, where I have an army that is ready to invade. Might just be me though. Ah, oh, come on, Armenia. I'm so sick and tired of all of your age and BS. Well, there's a good reason for me, um... Uh... Oh, well. Well, um, anyway, what I was going to say, uh, there's a good reason for uh, that I'm... Um, for I'm um, shifting. Of why I'm shifting? I can't even talk. Why I'm shifting um, all the way over there. Oh, you actually managed to capture something. Um, now that they're actually starting to be a bit useful. Yeah. Hopefully you can hold on to that. If you can't, well, then shame on you. But yeah, those guys have been absolutely a mullage. Um, when it comes to, um, to raiding of the trades by uh, enemy, enemy factions. And they're at war with the entire East, pretty much. Oh, that's a shame. Apparently it was natural causes. Well, my patrol was assaulted. And here we go, here are all of the... Um, the, uh, the enemy agents come into effect. But thankfully, you are now visible to me. And was that all? Was that the one agent? Or is that the one agent I could see? So military um, subversion, that was right there. And then we have military sabotage, that was also right there. So there's another that I'm not seeing. So actually I'm going to put you into counterintelligence, so hopefully you can actually see that. Well, there we go. Uh, but yeah, that is not you. Uh, that wasn't you that did that. Another one. Oh, over here. Yeah. Look how much I care. So I'm just gonna do that. And win convincingly. And finally, the Lusitani issue is dead. Not completely, though. They do have a, a navy or two that is lingering around. So they're not entirely dead just yet, but yeah, they're dead. What they do have is this. And uh, that is some crappy units, and even more crappy units. So, they need to try to find the port very quickly before they die of starvation, and the port around them are a bit too tricky for them to assault, I'm afraid. And relieved. Plus 25, just what I want to see. So, more and uh, more instability right here. But so be it. I do have quite a lot of... Um, of uh, repressioning buildings here. So, 
think that is actually okay. Oh, Master Dieworks. Sure. I could get Noble Riders, but I don't really, ne really need you. I would rather like to have um, a bunch of food. <laughs> Look at my food now. 91. Maybe I don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, for a time anyway. Yeah, let's just keep keep that there. Ooh, elephants. Can I actually get out of mercenaries? Should be able to. Apparently not. Not yet, anyway. So yeah, to our west lies Syracuse, which can be a pain. Oh yes, by the way, Sparta <laughs> was lost to Rome, interestingly enough. Could, of course, counter them, try to invade. But that would un unleash a war against Syracuse, unfortunately, since they are allied. Hmm. But the Spartan has actually managed to capture all of Sicilia. Or Sicily. Which is quite nice. To have quite a lot of presence here and there. Mm hmm. Yeah, looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, but yeah, we probably will be uh, engaged in the war against Syracuse. Uh, sooner or later, and also we're ha we're gonna have to try to take out Rome, and uh, we do have some armies here that might be able to do so. Could of course try to pump out units here. I definitely have enough money to sustain that, and I do have some uh, three armies I believe that are keeping all of this under control. Four actually, so yes, yeah, so I can definitely put on a large assault here, and at the same time try to capture Sardinia and Corsica. By the way, what can I get here? Um, that was not the thing I was after. There we go. Uh, wolf Warriors. Yeah, about that. Not interested. But if I go here, I think I should have those available to me. And indeed I do. So, have three rounds of them. And yeah, let's try some Stingers. I haven't really used them too much. But yes, I also saw that I had quite a lot of things to upgrade here, so start with that, continue with that. Yeah. There we go, upgrade some things here and there. And, oh wow, we can actually expand Rome. Finally! And I will expand that with... Ah, uh, if only I could get one more of these. Oh, well, I can't, so... Farming. You do have quite a lot of public orders, so... And right now I have a lot of food, but... You never know. In... Hmm, let's say... 15 turns, I might have spent quite a lot of that. For example, stuff like that. So yeah, you never know. Anyway, uh, I think I got sidetracked here when it comes to all of when it came to all of the agents. So manipulation, twenty one percent. Was assassination, which eighteen. No, I don't want another one of these. Um, yes, I managed to wound her. Better than nothing. Very nice. And we can also... Well, unless these guys have been stopped, we could have moved out. But I guess we can move out with these guys. Which aren't as powerful as I would like them to be. But they should be powerful to, enough to take that. And indeed they are. So, let's just capture that. And we have a foothold on Asia Minor. Hooray! How are my politics looking? Okay, I guess. And I haven't really uh, promoted people that I could promote. Because right now it's okay-ish. Like the, um, the balance is rather well, in my opinion. 
But yeah, hopefully I have taken care of all the agents that are present here. But I don't think so, because um, two actions uh, was done against these guys. And I only saw one agent, so there's probably a spy there somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, we of course need to flip all of this. And I don't know if I have enough money for that. Oh well, we, we can try. Oh, I don't have any equivalent. Not on that either. Okay, let's pull it down then. Yeah, we can keep the fishing village, but um, I would like it to be in my proper culture. Can keep that there. That is not inappropriate, like inappropriate culture. Yeah, but I'm not interested in that, so tear it down. And this city is fully expanded. Bravo. Also, how are you doing? I would actually like to get a full military alliance with you, now that you have shown yourselves to be just a little I bit useful. To hear your embassy, but you are not willing, suddenly. Is by the wit and wisdom of Athena herself. What if I go to war against Parthia? Oops, that is definitely not what I wanted to, to say. Let's see. And then I pay you. No. Well, probably if I give him a bit more cash. And then I might not even have to go to war against Parthia. But if the only territory Parthia has under his control is this, then I don't see any, any problems, because between me and Parthia are these guys. Uh, not these guys, but these guys. Oh, and this is not Parthian. This is Parthaven. Parthava. Which I'm already at war with, by the way. The only issue I see then is this army. But if they consist of Eastern Spearmen, mainly, then I don't see any problems uh, with the, that army either. Anyway, we are at time, most definitely. So I want to say that I hope you enjoyed uh, this part. And I hope you will join me in the next part, where we most likely, I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll go to war against Parthia. We'll try to capture uh, Rhodos or Rhodes, however you pronounce it in English. And if we can actually have these armies moving, we should be able to capture, at least try to capture stuff like Pergamum. But anyway, that is it for now. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will see me next time. Goodbye for now.